Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Pain Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So, I plucked away at my Stargrave Rogue Trader 40k project this week, uh, painted another five models, as well as getting finished the last of the like Marine Marines that need to get done for my Ultramarines, which is the other half of an Intercessor Squad, Squad Secundus, which is my um, just like regular bog standard sort of like unit of dudes with bolt rifles. Um, I also assembled, cleaned, stripped a bunch more old lead, it's just stuff that was uh, part of the Stargrave project. Um, a lot more of my NPCs, some of which I painted this week. Um, I got a couple more that are like on the go, a couple more like ruffians, um, a pirate heavy trooper, and a pile like a bounty hunter who wants to get painted too. Two more models for my Inquisitorial Warband before I'm going to call them done. There's like lots of alternates right now. Uh, two more models in like in the works for them too. Like I just like stripped and got ready to paint. And I stripped and primed and assembled and cleaned uh, my Rogue Trader Orcs as well for my second Warband. And then collected up the bits and pieces to make some objectives and a couple barricades and stuff as well. I also got a cool new box in for my O12 for Infinity that I'm excited to paint. I've been playing a bunch of Infinity with Jordan and Owen uh, recently, and of course I want to be able to work on some new projects for that. So let's show you what I got done and what is coming up. So first things first, here's those last five intercessors uh, sprayed with that lovely, um, what's it called, uh, Cobalt Blue from Green Stuff World. And then uh, details in some Scale 75 paints, it's Viking Gold as well as um, Black Metal on all the weapons and stuff, and then washed, and then highlighted, and decaled. I gotta say, the new marine decal transfers, the way they hug up on shoulder pads, it's just, it's so buttery smooth, I love it. Um, and this is my, I hadn't built my two um, ox grenade launchers, so this makes the squad 10. Sergeant and the first four marines are already done. Uh, then over here, five more models then for my Road Trader project. Uh, some ruffians, born ruffians, an old uh, 40k adventurer, I think he's like a space pirate, wearing like a fur suit with like some raccoon tails. I painted his red pandas um, on his on his chest there, some crazy like moon boots, <laughs> and then like half his head rebuilt in metal. And then a techno barbarian with a las pistol, he's pretty awesome too. Got a las pistol with like a skull on it, and he's just wearing the same fur too. My ruffians will all just be like kind of some local yokels down in, um, in Hell's Reach on Logan's World. Uh, for one of my warbots, I wanted to use the old Imperial Knight. He's just a great miniature. He's an old Knight Paladin for Epic, um, but he's perfect for like an Imperial robot too, just like a small one. And I'll probably use a, I have a few of these lying around actually I'll probably use for Rogue Stars because they're just cool. It's got a built-in melee weapon. What I'll probably do is use him as a heavy trooper uh, with the robotics upgrade. And then he's got his rapid fire, his um, carbine, he's got his melee weapon, and he's a robot so he's immune to like gas and stuff too. It'll be fun to have one eventually. I uh, painted up another recruit, just a, whoops, a squat, a little metal squat. He's again a weapon crewman, I'm pretty sure. Um, for the multi melta, uh, and he's smoking his stogie there with his last pistol, so he'll just be like a one of the free recruit dudes. He'll be ready to party. He's a young squat, you can see, because his beard is short. Um, and then my hive brat, I gave a shuriken catapult to, because when you're a flash hive brat and you you know rip around from the necromunda spiders, uh, doing odd jobs in Hell's Reach, you're gonna have a cool flash gun, and that's gonna be the 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 thing from the Eldar, <laughs> the dude, the thing you stole from some Eldar. Uh, and those were just the ones I finished at the end of last week, just kind of still putting around the project. Um, I've got a couple odds and ends. There's probably five miniatures I need to paint, and then it's just terrain and stuff before I start painting my other warband. But I want to I want to get the we need this to play stuff done first. And so the next thing I worked on was my Logan's World Hell's Reach terrain, and this is all available from Urban Mats. Um, these sort of like desert buildings. There's these are all unique except for the walls. There's a bunch of different styles available, uh, and they all came ready to go. Like you can see, they're all in this colored resin already and, and pre-painted. And what I did was I went around with my airbrush um, and just touched them up with some. Uh, raw umber basically or burnt umber rather on the uh, Like the recesses and stuff just to kind of dirty them up and just give them a little more contrast It really makes them pop but they had that perfect second edition 40k kind of vibe um, And then I just I flipped through my rotator rulebook and looked at all the like kind of weird Made up alien language things and stuff written on them um, to give them some detail and stuff so Went through, painted all the doors as well, added some color to the doors to kind of make them pop out. And what I assumed were the windows too, you can see, just my airbrush. And then just kind of like messed them up, made them dirty, you know, added some like moments like the I am Alfair blah, 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 bang, uh, stuff to it. Uh, and I, I, I really like how they turned out. They just have that little bit of extra pop. Um, you need seven buildings for the first scenario in um, Stargrave, and so this the the Bosch deal or whatever, and this just felt like the right kind of Logan's World terrain. If you go back and look at um, 
the pictures of Hell's Reach and Logan's World, this is pretty perfect. I'm going to add in some spires and stuff, I think, uh, just to add a little more like kind of desert terrain. And then I need to go buy some styrofoam balls and popsicle skewers to make some green and red cactuses. Because then I then I will officially have <laughs> some great period terrain. But this will be great too if we do do Gorka Morka. This will be a great orc village. Um, you know what I mean? Because like uh, maybe some old imperial settlement they've taken over. We've got like a whole bunch of like different stuff. But the idea with Hell's Reach is like the orc gangs and the human gangs are kind of mixing it up a little bit. Like they're both able to go into town. as like an uneasy piece. It's like the only settlement on the planet. So there's going to be lots of like lots of good moments hopefully hanging around these. And they're all a nice scale too. You can see to the figures in Rogue Trader. So they'll block lots of line of sight. The walls will be perfect. Um, they give lots of like corners to shoot around. And it's only put on a three by three table, so I don't need that much terrain to block line of sight and go into the middles and stuff. Um, but I did, I did start building some scatter and stuff too that I'm gonna add to it. And obviously the big thing is gonna be a little bit of like foliage with some cactuses, maybe some rock spires and stuff. Uh, and that should give me enough to get planned. Speaking of which, I looked for some appropriate barricades. I wanted some like kind of junky ones. So I went for the Mantic um, Walking Dead All at War barricades. They looked appropriately like beat up and sort of like old school, you know, bent pieces of metal, some old sort of like barricades, some wooden ones, lots of tires and stuff. And it gives it that kind of cool old school vibe. And then I started building some objectives. So here's my physical loot objective, an old Imperial like shipping container. Uh, it's a newer one, but like whatever. <laughs> I'm not worried about the objectives being period. Uh, this is going to be my info one. It's actually like a, you can't, it's hard to see because it's just primed, but it's actually a Chaos Space Marine helmet in like a pile of blood being looked at by like a server. This is actually an old objective marker um, that I'm, I'm going to turn into like my psychic interrogation objective. And then these two objectives will just be like generic ones for physical or data loot. I'll probably make, I haven't decided which one's going to be the data loot yet. Probably this one will be the data loot and this one will be the physical loot. The bigger objectives for the central one that can go either way, just because I figured that way you can remember like the more impressive objective. Uh, and then the ones that go on my enemy territory will be sort of like the minor ones. These are the rest of my random encounter figures. I've got a bounty hunter. He's gonna be like kind of a scavy bounty hunter. It's an old chaos champion, but he's got, there's counting coup is one of his skills. And he's got like the hand on his belt. So I figured he was perfect. And he's not, he's, he's technologically cool enough, but not like, like, I guess, um, Space Marine enough that I like the idea of having like a Nurgle kind of chaos champion as a bounty hunter. He's just he's just taking the tally for Grandfather Nurgle. And this is my pirate heavy trooper. I'm gonna use a um, super old chaos renegade, uh, but like beaky style because he'll go good with my my ancient ancient uh, Imperial Space Marine beaky dude to be like my my bad guy to his good guy. And I like that his head is so far down his chest it looks like he's falling over. This Ashways Nomad will be my last ruffian. He's actually a Marauder Ashways Nomad um, from the original confrontation with a chainsword and a um, last pistol and then my last two folks i got a, another hauler this guy's gonna be the the leveled up version of the dude who's like the basic um like physical loot dude it's a, it's a really old i think it's bob ollie servitor uh i got ready to go and then my sniper of course you can't be a slightly radical inquisitor like two on has without having an eldar sniper so this dude's coming along for the ride he's just a cool old uh rogue trader era eldar ranger with a nice eyepiece i have a whole squad of five of these but i wanted to paint him up first and then I've assembled up my Rogue Trader era orcs. You can see here the boss. Now this is going to be his second, his first mate. This is actually, I think, either Hruck or Thrug from um, Battle of the Farm. And then I've got my specialist here. He's going to be probably a grenadier because he's holding a grenade. Uh, this guy's going to be my code breaker, the leveled up hacker with this like cool like techno hat and stuff and a big sword. Uh, this will be my heavy trooper. You can see it's a, an ard boy with power fist and stuff. Uh, and then a gunner. It's an old orc heavy bolter shooting his giant heavy bolt. And I got a little there. It's amazing. Uh, these guys will be recruits with their pistols. And then I got some sentries. The guys with the bayonets will be the sentries because they have carbines and melee weapons. A little squig hounds to be my my hounds. And then a grot to be my, like, I think he's like a, the dude with picks. The guy who's like the basic runner who's free. And that's lots of options. So these guys plus, what is it, 11 means I got like three different options for, for different dudes for my Arc Warband when I get them painted. I finished my Space Marine Heroes, I realized I wasn't actually quite done. I haven't done the Captain yet. So maybe this will be Trajus prior to crossing the Rubicon Primaris. Maybe he was a, a Captain before that, and I'm going to paint him up to be like the same kind of colors as Trajus, but with um, 
like an older school kind of like look and then that way all my 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 spaceman heroes are done in my ultramarines colors so i just got him assembled and, and primed too with that lovely cobalt blue and i got this bad boy the nyoka salt troops for a 12 that also comes with a bronze this box is great <laughs> all of these models are awesome um and really pack some punch for not a lot of points actually the nyoka is really cool they're all plus one damage in their um their attacks uh the only bummer is that they can be a, a duo or a harris in a 12 and um the parachutist isn't part of it so because you get the bronze you can't actually make a harris team out of these uh there's an hmg model that isn't here because you get the i think it's just combi or multi rather you, know, you get a multi you get the parachutes red fury and the heavy rocket launcher and they're all great profiles the red fury with plus one damage being a parachutist is amazing um and then they've got they've all got climbing plus shock immunity zero g uh, lots of cool stuff, but the bronze, this bad boy, arm four, BTS six, uh, red fury plus one damage. So it's basically a spitfire. It's shock. And, uh, yeah, climbing plus on him too. He's a, he's a, he's a bad man. <laughs> and he's got two weapons. He's got a, uh, was it a paral a paralysis weapon at minus six and also a, um, EM weapon for melee. And he's, he's CC 19. He's actually in martial arts one. I'm pretty sure he's actually not terrible in melee. Uh, I mean, not a, a dedicated troop, but if someone comes to try and fight him, he's definitely going to be able to fight back. And he would probably go mess up a tag, too. Something that's, like, relatively, you know, not great at fighting. Because his weapons are super dangerous. So anyway, um, I'm pumped to paint these and add them to my O12. So we got lots of things on the go. Still plucking with the Stargrave project. Uh, painted, well, I mean, I guess I technically painted these pre-painted buildings by adding a whole bunch of details to them. Uh, they would be 10 buildings and pieces of terrain, 10 models, like 20 things this week. Uh, and then of course built and assembled and collected bits for and cleaned and scrubbed and stuck in the purple stuff, like all kinds of other stuff to get painted. Uh, and also recorded a bunch of games. So anyway, uh, I'm about probably another week away from being ready to play, uh, Stargrave, just with what I've left to paint. Um, I want to make sure I have all the random encounters that could happen. Uh, all the objectives and all the scatter painted and I do need to go get the craft stuff to go make those cactuses They're just a detail. I don't feel right filming with <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it a go uh, and I've also um, got some Tokens and templates and stuff a buddy of mine, which you'll see soon is making the short hopefully arrive next week as well uh, So that I can get some some sort of accessories for the game and show them off too. So anyway, big thanks for watching We'll see you next week for more on the paint table till then I'm ash How are you? I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Desperate Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can. 